What is up guys? I know I haven't been uploading lately, I'm sorry. I've been filming a bunch of stuff for you guys, but some of it didn't come out the way I intended it to. Uh, right now I just dropped off my girlfriend to get her nails done. We are going to go to a Starbucks because I was making coffee, but I didn't know she had an appointment this morning, so because of her I couldn't. And uh, this is my last day in California. I got that basic drink guys. Walking back to the car. All right, so like I said, this is my last day in California. I'm not moving from California or anything like that. I'm actually going up to Washington, leaving tomorrow with little man and my girlfriend. We're gonna visit some family that lives out there. I haven't been to Washington in a few years. Uh, we're also gonna visit Portland, Oregon. Uh, I forgot which day exactly, but I'm taking you guys with me. I'm vlogging the whole experience. Uh, since I've started making these videos for you guys, I've always wanted to go and travel somewhere, especially like take a flight, go somewhere new, show you guys something. Um, I try to show you guys a little bit of what's in California, what kind of to expect, I feel like there's this weird um, like ideology of like what California should be like or what it shouldn't be like and I try to show you guys at least like my version of it it may be a little different depending on where you go um, but I'm excited to show you guys a little bit of Washington and it's supposed to be like another 10 to 15 maybe even 20 degrees cooler than what it is here so I am really really excited for that look who's finally back finally back what oh you got pink We are taking the legendary Ford. For having 245,000 miles and only being on the tow truck like two times that I know of, that's not bad. That is not bad for Ford. And no, I don't hate Fords. I'm just saying it's pretty good. He's coming by. Hey! She's throwing a party. So we came to the place where everybody goes to party. Superior. Literally waited in line just for a bag of chips. Also, real soon, uh, one of my buddies, Tyler and Steven, is gonna be opening up their wrap shop soon. If you guys are interested in getting your car wrapped, I probably could get you guys a better deal than what most places are charged. They get access to all the best materials and everything else that you guys see in the area, like premium auto styling and other places, and they probably can cut you a huge discount on labor. The only reason I mention it is because soon I'm gonna wrap the tail lights on this. Um, I'm gonna do that either the reverse uh, the re reverse cutout one or I'm gonna do the little smoke tint one which like fills in the little clear crystal ugly part I'm not too sure yet while we're looking at the subi booty also comment down below guys if you want to see quad tip or keep the single I'm a uh I'm considering going back to quad tip just because I like the look that it's a little more stock and I feel like it'll draw less attention, but I'm not too sure yet. So comment down below guys, single exit or quad tip? What do you guys think? So I just got the text back from Joey, the owner of 9K. They have a white line rear sway bar for my car that's going for really cheap. Can't pass up the deal. I'm gonna go pick it up later today. But first, before I roll out to the shop, I'm gonna grab some lunch. I'm gonna miss this little dude when I'm gone, huh? Hey, 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 stop running away. This dude loves to attack the big dog and the big dog just takes it. Let's get lunch now. Ta-da, we got Chick-fil-A. What's in the bag? Let me show you. So we got their sandwich and their little waffle crisps. All right, got my cash. I'm gonna go pick up the Pintonator and uh, go to the shop. guys I can't wait to go up north uh, I'm leaving tomorrow like I said I don't know if I mentioned that already or not but I'm going to Washington tomorrow to visit some family I can't wait there he is there. <laughs> this guy what up man just one DVD yeah just this uh, all right so we just got to 9k Pinto is still in the midst of either fixing his car replacing the car are fixing the See, car again. I love my car too much and I drive it. Yeah. You know, and then realistically, I'm not gonna get a car now because I can't pay for it now. I'm still worrying about flying, school, and not having a job. Yeah. Or should we just get this guy's right here? The purple one. That's all you. Another 240. Another 240. RB240. It was pretty weird. Hey, thank you. Uh, my control How are you, man? Oh, chill it. I got so tilted when last game I was. Hey, car. What happened? Yeah. Are you getting offers or what? No. Yeah. How are you doing, man? 
been all right. All right, we're chilling in the 9K warehouse right now, looking at my white line rear sway bar. Subaru in the air. We got Heavy D chilling with Kevin. All right, so we're here with Derek looking at his first Jay-Z. There it is. How do you feel about it? Uh, man, look at that brand new oil pump and water pump. Yep. <laughs> um, well, everything, like I said, I think everything's going to be okay with this one. I just need to, um, I'm just going to build the head on it pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I'll go with the probably Tomei uh, Pond Cam, like, like a 264, 264 cam. Oh, nice. Because uh, they're the only ones who make, well, Tomei and BC are the only two companies that make it uh, that I know of for the BBTI. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, you can only use the exhaust cam here and you lose all your BBTI effects. Really? So, oh, I don't know that. Yeah, so Tomei has the um, the correct ones, and so does BC uh, Brian Crower. So, but I'm probably nice. going to Tomei ones because JDM extra points and new <laughs> points and stuff. Good guy. All right, this is the workout place. <laughs> Wait, dead lifts ready? <clears throat> Just kidding. All right, Pinto, if you had to choose one wheel, what would you get? Which uh, wheel? I know, huh? Wait, that Meister? That's a Meister? That's a Meister, yeah. These are both Meisters. These are both. This is the S3 and this is the S1. Oh, see, you learn something new every day, guys. Pinto, if you guys didn't know, actually was imported from Japan. I wish. Big Mo, the world's still waiting. Get the bigger turbo, dog. Huh? Get the bigger turbo. Oh. Yeah. All right, so Venmo me at Mo Supra. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. For the guy. new turbo fund, and make sure you post this. Okay, it's just like my Instagram, that's my Venmo. Shoot it. Dollar, two dollars, fifty dollars, thirty thousand, whatever you wanna. There's a Supra and a Prius. At Mo Prius. Dude, he's all about t Toyotas, bro. I know, he's got yeah, three Toyotas. Toyotas. A Forerunner and a Supra. <laughs> Damn, the same. Damn, see, that could be you, Pinto, see. right there. Man, stop. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, smash the like button, guys, if you want me and Pinto to take out the Supra when it's done. This was actually not Paul Walker's white Supra. Alright, guys, so this custom welded gauge thing. Aw, oh, Pinto, why'd you do that? I wanted to show them. I want to show them the five-cylinder. Oh, <laughs> you closed it right now. <laughs> so rumor has it, guys, that if you take care of these well, they'll last 800,000 miles. So we're gonna put one in Pinto's S14 as soon as he can open it. I can't. Open it. <laughs> what is like the latch stuck? No, I can't. For the longest time. <laughs> Dude, look at that Garrett turbo right there. It, it legit says Dude, Garrett hey, in it. Dude, when I fucking. When <laughs> Room <laughs> included. So, Brides are included with the purchase. Bride package. <laughs> All right, guys. So check out this chassis-mounted <laughs> monkey bar for Pinto. <laughs> I'm moving side to side. <laughs> Funny thing about this bar is it's actually held together with all head studs from um, an SR20. SR20 off of Kevin's SR20. You never installed. Just kidding. I never had a motor swap. Damn it. Not yet. Not yet. In the future. Soon. After you buy your jet. After. I <laughs> <laughs> I have to get the airplane. I'd rather have a plane than a car. <laughs> I know, that's true. Go anywhere in the world. Alright guys, so is this a WRX or an STI? Look, it's got both. WRX, STI. Oh, my car. This I thing like is pretty nutty. So before I forget, 9K is always giving out good deals. They are a shop that's definitely more about giving than they are taking from the car community. If you guys want to check out anything that they sell, offer, labor installs, whatever, I'm going to post their Instagram right now for you guys. Come check them out. They specialize in new cars, old cars, whatever you want. Joey and Felicia are really cool people, the owners, and tell them I sent you, and they might even hook it up a little bit more. You never know. You just have to give them a call, guys. Hey, Chrissy. We're gonna film another video with this car soon, guys. Don't worry. Big things coming soon. All right, so while we're here, Pinto recognized one of his homies' S13s that he went to high school with. No, I went to college. Well, I go to school with him. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, he used to have an Evo, but yeah, now he has this. But yeah, he got the car like completely stuck, and then all of an, all of a sudden he got like full ISR uh, components like suspend, like tow tow arms, uh, traction it. rods, tension rods, and all that nice stuff. Coilovers, I think. Yeah. I think he got Fortune Auto coilovers, and then oh, uh, nice. he got brand new SSR wheels, tires, a Fidenza clutch. Uh, I mean flywheel, and then I forgot what clutch he got. And then the steering wheel, works belt hub, and a, oh really? Yeah, and an ISR uh, 
exhaust dude he had it all laid out like fast and the furious style all right before we get stuck in traffic even though we already are leaving times a 9k hit him up for the parts hit up 9k for all your aftermarket needs part needs or whatever part needs yeah and use the code pinto for five percent off yeah say that you that i sent you guys and then they'll hook you up the web code pinto. <laughs> we're back at the pinto pad guys we dodged all the traffic because kevin's the best navigator in the world it's getting fixed soon, and we're gonna go drifting. Dude, we have to make a drift video, that'd be fun. Dude. That'd be a honestly, sick vlog. You and Derek hitting since, tandems? Since I'm not getting a motor swap anytime soon, and I'm getting money to like, fix whatever I need to get it fixed. Dude, yeah. my plan is to get an angle kit, maybe an angle kit, <laughs> and uh, you know, whatever I can get to uh, my car to get sliding, you know? And then I'm actually gonna start drifting a lot more, because honestly, power is cheating for drifting. Yeah. And I'd rather learn and struggle. Technique. Yeah, and learn and struggle with like a KA or whatever. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, and besides, I need money. One All J, right, so we're gonna. 14. Let's do the 1J. We're uh, about to play Kevin Simulator. This is uh, right hand drive. gonna be interesting. Josh's first drive right now. so bad, dude. What year should they even start in? All right, guys, so I just tried out the simulator. I sucked at it just like everyone who else has sit in the seat before. Let's see how the KP does it. KP said this is dedication. This is like, I, I take it forever to get used to it. Yeah, I'm getting him the hang of it, huh? So shout out to Pinto for letting me try out the simulator and suck horribly. But thanks again for coming with me to get my sway bar. I appreciate it. Let me know if you want to go to the Subaru meet. I will. If not, you can come in your S14 for 10 to Subaru. I mean, it sounds we'll just We'll just unplug one of the coil packs. It, and it'll sound exactly yeah, like Yeah, exactly. Subaru. It'll misfire like crazy. <laughs> Alright, so short little visit at Pinto's house. I gotta go leave to go pick up my girlfriend right now. Um, I forgot to mention earlier that my girlfriend's mom jammed out to Vegas with my girlfriend's car. So she has no car right now. Oh man, it feels weird to drive a real car now after driving the simulator. Alright, so I don't think I mentioned, but maybe I did. I got a white line rear sway bar. It needs end links. One of the end links is broken, so I'm just gonna replace it with another uh, white line one. Uh, 9K is always giving out really good deals on both new and used parts. If you follow them on social media like I posted earlier, you guys will see that they're always constantly posting like lots of parts for both old cars and new cars and I'm not gonna install the sway bar until I get coilovers which hopefully will be sometime sooner rather than later. I think the most exciting thing for me too about um, adding new parts to the car or like taking you guys with me to 9k and buying stuff is just that I'm sharing the experience of the build with all of you guys watching this right now. That's by far the most rewarding thing is just being able to like show you guys like my process. Like I wish I could have filmed, I wish I started vlogging from the day that I got the car, like literally taking home the car from the dealership, that would have been the best thing ever. But I wanna extend a huge shout out to all of you guys who uh, have been following me for this long or any new guys who come across the channel, you guys are all the best. Oh, look at the lighting. Oh my God, look how much energy he has. Oh so God, much. <laughs> so the two other dogs we have are girls and I would say by far the male puppy has by far been way more aggressive and energetic because he bites so freaking hard. So back before I did E85, I did my oil change with Manny and Hosey, like you guys saw a while back. I still have uh, Danny, the dude with the Z you guys saw, oil pan or drain pan, whatever you guys want to call it. And uh, Manny's big blanket so that he didn't get dirty while he was helping me. And uh, he's gonna swing by in a little bit to come pick it up. So I don't know if I've said it in the video yet, but there's a really big uh, monthly Subaru meet that's happening tonight. I've never gone before. It's for Team Subi Snails' this, uh, Instagram page. I washed my car yesterday. I washed it and I actually cleaned my wheels for once too because uh, you guys are always complaining that my brake dust is ridiculous. So I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I actually washed and cleaned the wheels for once. 
But what I didn't do was apply my little detail spray, my final wash, whatever you guys want to call this. Um, I like applying it, it applies a nice shine, makes it nice and smooth so that rocks and dirt doesn't stick to it as easily. I still at some point need to clay the car, which pulls all the gunk and crap and minerals and rocks that you can't really see on the surface of the paint. It makes it nice and smooth again if it's rough. It doesn't really feel too rough to be honest because I've washed it pretty frequently since I've owned the car, but at some point I would like to clay it and give it a full scale detail. Ricer showed up to my house right now. Let me show you the ricer that just showed up to my front doorstep. I'm angry. New ricer. Manny's the biggest ricer I know. The rice mobile. Damn, should I just drive it and not even tell Chris? He could just watch it on YouTube. Alright, so Manny recently installed the stock boost controller back on this car because before Boostifer or Chris had a three port with no tune, so it used to hit fuel cut and Manny would just make it backfire. Now it actually uh, like goes all the way to. Yeah, that's a noisy car, man. The Manuel. I love the like the white like the white gauges. Yeah. Like. So first impression with the stock boost controller, it pulls pretty hard, especially when you got a Manny behind the wheel. <laughs> this guy. Oh, we're gonna scrape. Oh, we didn't scrape, surprisingly. behind the wheels pretty quick. Chris, if you're watching this, I don't know if you can out drive your cousin, man. I think he's got you beat. He's gonna have to take off that booster for a sticker. But a boost, boost a Manny. You got too carried away racing around in the Evo. I've been getting cold at night, dude. <laughs> I've been getting cold at night. <laughs> you need that, that 2050 weight. Alright, so right now we're in the Evo. We're gonna go pick up little man. We got the best Uber Manny. These train tracks suck. Hey, go slow. What was that, the solar system in there or what? Super tin. Alright, man. Hi, I'll see you, man. I'll catch you later. That's my homie with the SDI rolling up behind you. So seconds after Manny dropped me off, my homie Steven rolled through the STI. We're going to a Subi car meet. Um, so I'm taking All right, so we just got to the meet. There's actually more people here than I thought there was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a ghost town, but there's actually a good amount of cars. short-lived car meet there wasn't that many people there I just kind of hung out with Steven to be honest with you I slacked on filming I know it um, but if you guys saw that gray STI my buddy Steven and Tyler are opening up the wrapping shop soon and we're gonna swing by and show you guys some of the projects that they're working on very very soon 
Alright guys, really fun day with you. Glad I was able to get you guys another car vlog, hang out with Pinto, Steven, a uh, ton of people honestly were in this video or even if you didn't really see them, they were in it and it was a lot of fun. I'm really excited to go to Washington and get you guys some vlogs up north and travel around a bit and film the whole process and of course the first flight that little man's ever been on will be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop a like, drop a comment, get involved, uh, subscribe for more car content. I will be up north in Seattle, Washington. If you guys are out there, please hit me up on social media. I love talking to all you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.